Hello, and welcome to Act No you? Part Two. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to. Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time. Oh, it's is fast forwarded. And the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. He didn't know. He hoped. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or you can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Amy, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. Sure thing. You're trusting her. Okay, doctor, let's go. And I can see right through you. Don't try anything stupid. You will regret it. I mean, no offense, obviously, to that one Amy, but she's not exactly trained in military Jack, acts. Before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. I don't wanna. I really want to. I really want to ask. I know it's not going to be an option, but it'd be so funny to ask that one Doctor Admiral about um, all those screenplays that guy sent to her. <laughs> it's quite funny. I did actually take some time then to read the second part because I wasn't going to do that in real time on screen because that would take a while. But I did like read the gist and just looking back back at the video. It's quite funny because it's like this weird flirt. It's this weird way of him like admitting that he really likes her and that he thinks that Paul Serene's a dick. He just changed the name slight, slightly. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working, we go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying. We go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because apparently that's not allowed. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. But she's wrong then. I mean, I understand her logic, but that is the exact same logic that, you know, Paul Serene is using. And I mean, he's seen the end of time, so realistically, everything is the past to him. Right, meaning that that plan cannot work of using the countermeasure. The countermeasure is doomed to fail then. Unless he just never saw it, or maybe he didn't really see the end, he just saw right before. Something like that. Hello, Riverport. Well, it's been a rough night for us. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. But the point still stands that her yeah. her logic can't work. Or at least it's very unlikely to. This was the guy delivering his speech at the gala. Potential ally? Potential ally, that's a bit of a stretch. I mean, he's he's the one who's like, you know, put down Admiral's plans to accelerate the safe, the life, lifeboat protocol, that's it, all that stuff.
Hmm. Possible. And this was provided by Fiona Miller. That's me. Interesting, but I mean, he seemed kind of sorry for Dr. Kim. So I'm thinking maybe not. Ugh, damn blue screen. Wait, assistance in Sophia's kidnapping? How so? I don't think that counts. Besides, he wanted... Okay, that is confirmed. But, I mean, like, by us, not by her. Oh, Charlie Wincott's escape, confirmed. Q sub. Alright, what were the direct orders he disobeyed? Alright, he has helped Charlie's escape. Not quite sure why he's helping. Charlie reach Wincott Tower. I think maybe he wants access to that CFR. Potentially desires... Possible. Alright, yeah, I mean, it's, it's confirmed that he wants Serene's downfall. Yeah, that's the question. What's his end game? I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure, like she's seen it before, she knows what it does. You think Will told her about it? No. Will was never the kind to open up. I can relate. Will takes it to the next level. When we were kids, the only way that Will could express anything important to me was by informing my stuffed giraffe when I was in the room. That's precious. And weird. Hmm. I don't see anything, so... Let's just keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Did she find anything? Not sure. I'll go check. I still want to find the rest of the narrative objects, though. Jack, you've got to see this. Oop, that's one. Well, I'm serious, Jack. This is big stuff I've got here. Yeah, I'm here. Hey, shouldn't you be keeping an eye on Amaral? Okay, but Probably first, you need answer. to check out the intel I uncovered. All right. What is all this? I uploaded all the files I stole on that USB stick from the Monarch Security Station. Okay. I also found a video of your brother. It's on that TV. You're going to want to see it. Everything else I printed out and put on tables over there. All right. But what's on the computer? Monarch files I uploaded, and I kept the juiciest stuff on screen for you. Shifters.
Those dreams are very peculiar. Hey, Amy. What am I looking at here? I've been recording Monarch communications with the radio that Beth left me. I made a compilation of anything that seemed like it might be useful. Right, I'm not going to read the full entry of every little thing. All right, if any of you'd like to read that, you can obviously just pause during the video. The lifeboat. Yeah. Well, according to Monarch Communications, Paul Serene just activated that thing. Far sooner than they were supposed to. What does that mean? It means we have less time than I hoped. I think it's actually interesting that things are immune to spoilage. Oh wait, no, I've already read that. That makes a great storage device. Serene's original manifesto for Monarch. They had us practically memorize this. He actually believes he's doing the right thing. It's because he doesn't think the fracture can be stopped. And he's wrong. I mean, the thing is, he made some valid points. Arduous work. My machine is finally ready for human testing. Ready is defined by me since ready is obviously a relative term when you're dealing with the deformation of the chronon field and the creating of black holes mass density by tangent. Okay, in short summary, I built the time machine. Yeah, I'm not gonna and it works. Watch all that. I can hardly hear it anyway. It's frustrating that going there before talking to Dr. Hill. Alright, guess I have to read that stuff later. How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you.
Okay. The console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. What does that mean? Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. The perfect place for a reset switch, Will. First red light is now green. Good. One more to go. <clears throat> I'm not sure if you can reach the second one that way. You may have to climb down and reach the other side of the machine. Ooh, what do we got here? Jack. Hi. It's Will. I... I guess you're in Thailand by now. I'm not sure if you even still use this number. I don't like how we left things. I'm... I've been under a lot of pressure. But there's some things I should tell you. I'd like to make it right. Just... call me. Okay? Please. Wow. That's sad. How do I get up there, though? Do I have to go in the machine first? Do I have to go this way? Oh, I do. That. You've got to be kidding me. What is oh, it? He kept the giraffe. This is all my stuff from our family home. I kept everything. Huh. Guess you thought you might come back. <laughs> Jack? You okay? Yeah. Even in the photo, he looks a bit quirky. Skip, really? This new oh, right. That's it. <laughs> Thought it'd be an enemy. What's wrong? Toto. Who's Toto? It's my signature. You made this? Never even been here before. You time travel a lot. In the picture is you, isn't it? So, Jack, there's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me. Told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this. Filled with. Dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Hey, Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. The notebook was full of dates, events that would come to pass, instructions. Her entire existence was formed out of those pages. I 
Bishop. Oh, a bench you put in there. I feel like that book should have had more general stuff in it than just her life experiences. Bring it in there. Oh, what's? Oh no, it's just a. It's her. She's the one who's been painting all over the city. Jesus. Anyway, I apologize for earlier audio. Well, just. I'm getting a lot of calls. So I have to keep pausing the recording so it might look a bit stuttery. What have we got here? Oh wait, I was here earlier. That's awkward. Why the hell would your brother put maintenance controls way up there? That's exactly the kind of question that never would have entered Will's mind while building. Oh crap! <laughs> what a way to go. Killed by faulty buildings. Now, the question remains, what have I not gotten? There is a s I think there's a single narrative object I haven't got yet. City still hunting for me? In full force. There's July an entire 4th, page dedicated to potential sightings. So I've been filling it in with the needs for fun. Do you want to pitch in? No. Uh, Are you? Post that I was spotted in the back of a catering van somewhere. 